Caldwell. I'm a member of the board of directors of this wonderful affiliate here, and I am tickled to death to see all of you here uh, at this wall raising. But we're here today with this house because of the Christmas jam. Uh, it's interesting to me how important music is to this community, and it's also interesting to me how uh, somebody in Warren Hayes's uh, what's the word, provenance, uh, can take some time out and, and look at the local scene uh, and help us out here. The WNS Charitable Foundation that he uh, 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 administers has raised almost a million dollars to date yeah. for Habitat. And tomorrow night's jam will put that figure at over a yeah. million dollars. Yeah. introduce to you uh, Michelle Bevins, our homeowner. And this is her daughter Isabella. And her son Benjamin is somewhere. Here he comes. Uh, Michelle will say a few words to us in a little bit in a little bit. I just wanted to get a little more nervous right here before we <laughs> hand it over. I'm going to hand the microphone to Laura Ivy, who is our volunteer service manager, and uh, she wants to say a few words. This is the fifth year of Before the Jam Lend a Hand, where volunteers from all over the world. <laughs> They're laughing because I cannot say it right to save my life. And, um, Warren Haynes, and they've come out to lend a hand in our community in Asheville. Um, we have had in the past four years 110 volunteers who have um, been part of Before the Jam Lend a Hand. Um, this year we decided we wanted to expand the, the goal. Um, we wanted to have volunteers help build this house supported by the Christmas Jam House, but we also wanted to have volunteers participate in the Kearney Place community and our Woodland Court community and also in our Shiloh construction site. And so we set a goal of a hundred volunteers. So this was a pretty big goal again because in all the four years we had 110. Sign-ups were looking good. Tuesday morning, the first day, it was very wet and very soggy. And the second day, the, if it couldn't even have been worse than the first, the skies opened up and it poured rain the entire day. Um, our construction supervisor, John Meadows, of the Christmas Jam House, asked volunteers if they wanted to leave at break because it was raining so hard, and they said no. They continued on and worked as long as they could. The third day was bitter cold, and so I was thinking, oh, there's no way we're going to even get close to our number. But today, the skies were blue, the sun was shining, and I'm proud to say that we reached our goal, and we had, um, this week total, we had 110 volunteers. Thanks, Laura. First of all, I'd like to thank Warren and Steph for allowing Merrill to be a part of this event. This is our third year that we've been doing this, and I see no end to this uh, in the future. Uh, I think Warren and Steph have certainly raised the bar, and they live uh, a great example for all of us. We really appreciate all the volunteers and everything you do, and really that's why Merrill got involved, and that's why Warren and Steph allowed us to be involved, was to support you guys and just to say thank you for being a part of this, for weathering the storm, and when I drive up and see so many smiling faces swinging hammers and doing, you know, uh, some things that uh, are a little bit out of the ordinary for a lot of us, it really makes me feel good. And you should all be very proud about what you do. We really appreciate your letting us be involved, and thanks for being involved. I think Michelle ought to be nervous enough now to come and say a few words to us, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Um, I don't even.
even know what to say. This is the most incredible thing that's ever happened in my life. Um, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of energy and the number of people and the organization itself. And I've been a fan of the Warren Haynes Christmas Jam for a lot of years. Um, I've been across the country and seen a lot of the musicians that will be playing here tonight, I mean, tomorrow night. And um, so not only is this a gift for my family and our future, um, so many things have are culminating and coming full circle for me with this whole event. It's just incredible. Um, I don't even know what else I can say. Um, Arion told me I should tell a story, so I'm going to tell it. I don't know if it's a good story, but... <laughs> um, two days before I got the call that we were going to get this house, um, I was in the store and I was looking at that picture over there and I, I, I just, I liked it and usually I don't do things like that for myself um, because that's a luxury and uh, I put it down and walked away from it and I went back and bought it and then two days later I got the call about the house and so <laughs> there it is. And I'd like for you to sign it for me if you can. Absolutely. I'd actually like to ask everybody that helps put the wall up to sign that. And that will hang in my living room. So, um, and thank you. I want to introduce to you somebody who needs absolutely no introduction, and that's not a cliche here, that's it's just the truth. You're not here to see me, you're here to see Warren Haynes, and I'm going to give him the microphone. <laughs> uh, I agree, I don't know what to say either. It's, it's so overwhelming emotionally to see everybody contributing, and uh, I just... I want to thank all the musicians and the artists and the bands that have contributed year after year after year to the Christmas Jam. Um, you know, we make a few phone calls and, you know, put some uh, schedules together, but it's really the, the people that volunteer their times and their services that make this all possible. And the fact that it's grown from a tiny event 23 years ago to what it is now and that we're able to year after year continue to have people like Phil Lesh and Bela Fleck and Los Lobos and come in and, and, and volunteer their time and play for free and, and create houses for families that, that need them. It's something that uh, none of us take for granted but I, I really owe a debt of gratitude for all the people that have helped make that possible. And uh, Habitat, thanks for all you, your hard work and what you guys do. When, when, we, when we stumbled upon each other years ago, it, it seemed like the right time and right place for things to happen, and it's the right organization, and thank everybody for supporting Habitat. Uh, it's amazing that playing music can build houses and, and it's what we do every day as musicians so for us it's easy but it's not easy for people like Phil Lesh who's flying from California and uh, John Paul Jones a couple of years ago who flew from London uh, to be here thanks everybody and uh, we're gonna we're going over a million dollars this year I think that's that's awesome uh, who would have, who would have thought it? <laughs> Thank you, Warren. This house is a blessing. This whole organization is a blessing. And I'm going to introduce to you the Reverend Howard Hanger, who's actually going to bless this place. <laughs> we're going to offer a blessing, but we're also going to state a blessing, that the blessing that's already happened. So I ask you to say with me a line at a time, God has blessed you, Michelle. God has blessed you, Michelle. God has blessed you, Isabella. God has blessed you, Isabella. 
God has blessed you, Benjamin. God has blessed you, Benjamin. God has blessed you with a home. God has worked through all of us. And so many others. That you may have a home. And so God bless you, Michelle. As you move into this new home. And find a home. God has blessed you, Warren Haynes. God has blessed you with a gift of music. A gift of a generous heart. God bless you for all you have done. And may God bless us all. In the days to come. That we may find homes. Create homes. Find ways to build homes. So that people in our world. May have a home. May God bless us all this holiday season. Amen and oh yeah. Amen and oh yeah. What we're going to do now is raise the wall. John, you ready? Okay, folks, now don't let it go. Now we're going to come up on three. One, two, three. Let's bring it up. Hold on, hold on to it. When you can't find the light that guides you through a cloudy day, when the stars ain't shining bright, it feels like you've lost your way. When the candlelight of home burns so very far away, Boy, you got to let your soul shine Just like my daddy used to say Used to say, so shine Better than sunshine Better than ocean Surely better than rain When people don't mind We all feel this way sometimes You let your soul shine Shine till the break of day.